Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is 3 power n plus 1 equals negative 9. Solving for the value of n that satisfies this equation. So, if you have a power x plus y, this equals a power x times a to the power of y. Now, applying that here, we will have 3 power n times 3 to the power of 1. And this equals minus 9. And from here, I have 3 to the power of n times 3 to the power of 1 is 3. And this equals minus 9. I can decide to divide this by 3. And divide this by 3. 3 eliminates 3. Half to the power n equals negative 9 divided by 3. This will be negative 3. So from here, I can apply natural log of natural log of 3 to the power of n equals natural log of negative 3. And from here, we have natural log of a power b equals b times natural log of a. So n times natural log of 3 equals natural log of this negative 3. I can express it as negative 1 times 3. So from here, if you also have natural log of a times b, this equals natural log of a plus natural log of b. So applying that here, I have n times natural log of 3 plus natural log of negative 1 plus natural log of 3. So from here, I can express negative 1 as square root of, or let me make use of this. Square root of negative 1 equals i. So if you take this squares, this cancel this, that means negative 1 equals i power 2. Right? So if negative 1 equals i power 2, and there's negative 1 here, so we are going to replace this with i power 2. So I'm going to have n times natural log of 3 equals natural log of i power 2 plus natural log of 3. And from here, if you have natural log of a power p, this equals p times natural log of a. So the 2 here will come behind the natural log. I'll simply have n times natural log of 3 equals 2 times natural log of i plus natural log of 3. Now I can solve for n by isolating this n. So I divide this by natural log of 3. I divide this by natural log of 3. Natural log of 3 comes to natural log of 3. I simply have n equals 2 times natural log of 5 plus natural log of 3 divided by natural log of 3. And from here, f n equals 2 times natural log of i divided by natural log of 3 cross natural log of 3 divided by natural log of 3. So from here, f n equals 2 times natural log of i variable natural log of 3 plus this cancel this, I have 1. So this becomes my answer, right? And if you have natural log of A divided by natural log of B, this equals natural log of A to the base of B. So I can as well apply that here. That means I have n equals 2 times natural log of i to the base of 3 plus 1. Alright. 
Let's also solve this using a different identity for natural or for negative one. F three power n plus one equals negative nine. And just like we did earlier on, x power y plus z equals x power y times x power z. So from here, f to the power n times to the power 1 equals negative 9. We divide this by 3. We divide this by 3. f to the power n equals negative 3. Then for this, we can express this as product of negative 1 and 3. f to the power n equals negative 1 times 3, which is negative 3. Applied natural law. So we have natural log of A to B equals B to natural log of A. And also natural log of A times B equals natural log of A plus natural log of B. The first identity we apply it here, the second we apply it here. So this will give us n times natural log of 3 equals natural log of negative 1 plus natural log of 3. From here, we have e power i times pi plus 1 equals 0, and e power i times pi equals negative 1. So, negative 1 here is e power i times pi, that n times natural log of 3 equals natural log of e power i times pi plus natural log of 3. From here, we have n times natural log of 3 equals, this comes behind this, we have i times pi times natural log of e plus natural log of 3. So from here, this cancel this. I simply have n times natural log of 3 equals i times pi plus natural log of 3. Can solve for n dividing this by natural log of 3. Dividing this by natural log of 3. This cancel this, so we simply have n equals i times pi plus natural log of 3. Divided by natural log of 3. So right now, I have n equals i times pi divided by natural log of 3 plus natural log of 3 divided by natural log of 3. Let's cancel this, and I have n equals i times pi divided by natural log of 3 plus 1. So if you compare this to the first solution, which is You have 2 ten natural log of i to the base of 3 plus 1. 2 ten natural log of i to the base of 3 plus 1. You observe that the only difference here is here we have i times pi, while here we have is i times pi divided by natural log of 3, while we have this here, which obviously the same thing because. This simply means 2 times natural log of i. This simply means 2 times natural log of i divided by natural log of 3. That's the meaning of this one here. And i times pi is the same thing as 2 times natural log of i. So this and this are the same, and the base are the same, so we have plus 1. So the both solutions are obviously the same, depending on how you go about it. So that is it, guys. Thank you, and goodbye.